little bit about how to set up your Inkscape for being able to easily create exportable sprite sheets. So as you can see here, I have a document here that has a grid system that is eight by 10. And all of my um, player sprites are centered in their squares or nicely lined up. They don't need to be centered. And I have room for expansion because this is just me getting started. Um, we're going to do the same thing in a new sprite sheet so that we can see how to set it up. Close these things. Okay, so I'm going to start by going up to my document properties. I'm going to choose inches for my display units and I'm going to make my width be 8 inches by 12 inches. And then I'm going to go over here and create my grids. So the first one we want to be spaced as eight pixels. And we'll have a major grid line every 12 grid lines because we have 96 pixels in an inch, so this makes our major grid lines line up on our inches while still keeping our pixels so that when we export it, uh, it's easier for it to convert it from vector art to pixel art. There'll be less blurring. Oops. Okay, so if I go over here and I zoom in, We can see as I zoom far enough, I have my minor grid lines. Each of these minor grid lines is eight pixels by eight pixels. And what I wanna do from here is create another grid. And this one, we're going to show every pixel and we're going to have a major grid line every eight pixels. For these ones, I want my minor grid line color to be, oops, wrong one to be a uh, hot pink purple. And I want it pretty transparent here. I'm gonna set that down to 10. And I want my major grid line to actually be completely transparent. I don't want it to show up at all. So now if I come over here and I zoom in some more, you'll see that eventually we get our pixel by pixel grid line. Not soon enough to be too distracting while we're doing things, but um, nice for when we really want to dial into where everything is snapping. So that's it. You'll want to make sure that you line up the body of your character from square to square. And then all we need to do from here is when we have our grid sheet, we can save it as an SVG and import that directly into Godot, which, which will do the work of converting it to a bitmap for us. Now, Godot simply converts the SVG to a bitmap, and it converts it at the size of your SVG document. So each of our characters will be 96 pixels, or each of our squares will be 96 by 96. But scaling from here, should you decide that you want your character to be larger, is not very complex and we can get to that in a different video.